Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, you know, there's some simple rules to follow if you want a blessed life. And these are, I mean, even apply to secular things. Like, first of all, spend less than you earn. It's a good idea. How about don't spit into the wind? Yeah, that one doesn't work out well for you. Or, or just don't overeat. Uh, you know, as a kid, I used to overeat all the time. I was like, oh, food, I love it. And I'd gorge myself and then I'd, you know, get sick to my stomach that night and it was never a pretty thing. And uh, if you overeat, you're either going to pay for it soon or you're going to pay for it later. Either way, you don't want to pay for it. But there's also some biblical rules or guides for living a blessed life uh, that we need to follow. Like, you know, love always. Jesus said it's the great commandment. We're to love our neighbor as ourself. We're to love our enemies and pray for those who persecute us. So we're supposed to always love. So always love. And, and then, of course, we're supposed to forgive. Right? The Apostle Paul, I, I, I like the way he put it when he said, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ has forgiven you. So we're supposed to forgive everybody of everything because that's what Jesus did for me and you. He forgave us of everything. So if you love, if you forgive, you're always going to be blessed. And then our, our, our word for the day, 1 Corinthians 10, 31 says this, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. So if you want to bless life, do everything to God's glory. Do everything for God's glory. So what, that, what does that mean? That means if you're doing something that dishonors Jesus, don't do it. Okay? You're breaking the rule. If, if you're doing something that is unbiblical, stop it. Because you're hurting yourself. Okay? You're spitting into the wind spiritually. It's not going to work out for you. But if you can do it, whatever it is, eating, drinking, whatever, and you can praise God while you're doing it, and it glorifies Him. Okay, there's some people who can praise God while they're sinning, but that's messed up. But I'm talking about you can praise God and it glorifies Him, then you are free to pursue it. If you let that boundary line be, am I glorifying Jesus by what I'm doing, by what I'm saying, by what I'm eating, by what I'm drinking, then you're free. And here's the thing, if we always try to live in a way that honors Christ, if that's your goal and if that's your boundary, your guideline, can I just tell you, you're going to live a very, very blessed life. And I hope and pray that that blesses you today. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.